Dave knows how. Okay. So, basically, I'm having to do a voiceover. Um, we're going to do a little video on this quick hitch. And the problem with these quick hitches is they come to fit a Category 2 implement, but yet they also come to fit a Category 1 tractor, which makes absolutely no sense. The part of the quick hitch that attaches to the tractor is actually category one and it fits into a category one three-point hitch but the part that the implement hooks to on the quick hitch is actually a category two and you have to buy bushings to make it fit a category one makes no sense whatsoever anyway rather than buy a bunch of bushings for every single implement that I have this category one I'm gonna modify this quick hitch so that it will work with Category 1 implements without having to buy any bushings whatsoever. So I did a measurement and the measurement of the quick hitch was one and a half inches. I measured the pin on the implements and then did some simple math and came up with 5 sixteenths which is what this round rod is 5 sixteenths. Now it's going to make it a little tight so I decided, you know what, I don't really want it to be that tight. So I went back. I couldn't find any flat stock in a 5 sixteenths anyway, which is really what I wanted. So I was able to find some flat stock and a quarter inch. So I went on and got the quarter inch flat stock. We're going to use that for the bottom and uh, shim that thing up so that the bottom will accept. Uh, category 1 implement without having to put any bushings on it whatsoever and we're going to use the round one up the top link and we're going to use that to shim out that little area just to make that fit a little a little bit better and not have so much slop and looseness to it um, it's it, it doesn't really make a whole lot of difference except for when you're using a box blade or a road blade or something like that where you don't want a whole lot of slop uh, so that you can get your adjustment right for your pitch and your angle for moving stuff around. So we're going to do a little cut and a little welding, see if we can get this done. Okay, so basically I just took a Sharpie, colored this in, put a little mark right at an inch and a half, and... I'm going to bring it on around until we're looking down through here. We're just barely seeing that line. And just going to kind of hold that straight as we can. And we're going to pull this on around just like this. Keep on going. <sighs> actually go a little further than we need which is always a good idea with these benders because you can always bend it back out easier than you can get it to go around a little further so we'll pull that out take this out and we'll stick this back and now that's what we got okay and of course we're gonna have to bend this back just a little bit but that shouldn't be a problem we can just scoop it right around there and bring it up a little and that's almost got us where we need to be let's take it around and test fit it looks like a pretty good fit um, we will need to trim this off right around in here because it's a little bit high and we need it to get past this this piece of metal in here that when you flip this rod, the piece of metal in there kicks out and holds this on. So we'll need to cut this down here a little ways and then of course trim this off up here and we'll probably uh, get this thing tack welded on this side. Uh, 
towards this end and on the other side and then we'll come over here to this side and we'll clamp this over and weld it in place and uh, I think we'll have a, a nice fit and a very functional um, way to have this thing fit category one implements and not have to put spacers on every single thing we got to make it work all right let's get to uh, see if we can bend the other end up there and uh, and uh, then do a little trimming and cutting and some welding and we'll be done
good enough. All right, let's take a gander at it. And as you can see, I closed up all that gap around there. So a uh, quarter inch flat stock seemed to be the size. And um, and now don't don't criticize my weld too bad. Keep in mind, I did not clean this metal. I uh, did not sand the paint off of it. <laughs> you know, I just welded right through the paint and everything that was there. Um, it's not going to be under no major load. It's just going to hold that piece in place, and that's it. And uh, should the time come that I need to take that out, hmm, take a little die grinder, I can grind that piece right on out of there, no problem. Um, I was contemplating on whether or not to add a piece to this. Um, just to see, you know, but really, I uh, probably don't have enough room to add anything to that, so it might not be an option, but I don't have to worry about it coming out because the gap right here is nowhere near as wide as what it was before, um, you know, right up here at the top. So, uh, all in all, I'd say, you know, this was successful. Now, I'm thinking about doing something um, up here because you know we got a lot of we got a lot of space up here in this part of it too and um, you know I don't know I haven't really made up my mind yet if, if I do do something up here it'll probably just be on this one side it won't be on the front and back it'll probably just be right here on this side just maybe add a piece of that uh, quarter inch thick flat stock right there and um, kind of kind of be done with it right there all right all right so I just took two pieces of that round stock and just tacked them right there and that should hit that just fine and then my pen will go down in there and I'll be good to go you know nothing fancy just you know something to make it give it a little bit better fit not be slopping around so much. Well, that's all it needs. Okay, so to sum it up, what we did, we used quarter inch flat stock right here. It's about a quarter inch thick. And it was probably about an inch or an inch and a quarter wide, maybe. Probably probably more like an inch wide. Stuck it down in there, turned it. You know, put the little bend in it back there on the bender and it's kind of Weld it around a little bit, not a big deal, nothing fancy, it's just got to hold it in place. Then up here we used the 5 16 round stock and just put two flat pieces right against there and just tacked them in place. Nothing fancy, it ain't got to hold the world up, it's just got to hold it in place and that'll take up some of that slack. And then we did the same thing on this side over here and so, you know, uh, I think uh, we're going to call it a done deal, and um, this will make it so that uh, I don't have to put any kind of uh, uh, adapters or shims or anything to use the quick hitch. I can just back right up to whatever implement, and as long as it's a category one implement, blam, bam, thank you ma'am, and it's on there, and I can get on down the road and... Uh, you know, I've been using this thing without any kind of bushings or adapters on there. But it does, you know, it does clang around and make a little bit of noise. And it's got a lot more movement to it because there's a lot of slop there. But I never ran into a problem where it actually came disconnected. You know, where it, where it actually, you know, slipped out in between right here. You know, I never, never ran into that problem. So... Um, you know, and like I said, I used it without any bushing on it for a long time. But I think having that a uh, little bit better fit, a little snugger fit in there, um, I think that's going to make a make a little bit of a difference uh, as far as the amount of noise it makes clanging around back there and uh, been, being able to um, adjust the angle and the pitch of, say, like the box blade 
or the road blade or something like that that's kind of critical um, as far as getting the angle and the pitch right when you're trying to uh, level out your ground and whatnot. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you have a good day. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.